People say they enjoy my economic videos talking about personal finance. I want to get back to basics and just make a quick statement. Let's start from the very beginning. If you are avoiding creditors, if you are avoiding bill collectors, if you are not picking up your phone, if you are not checking your mail because you can't pay your bills, it's not the bill collector's fault, it's your fault. And I know you know that, but let's go another level to that. If your bills are more than 10% of your income, you have too many bills. Or, in mathematical terms, you have too much bill and not enough income. Your housing should not be more than 30% of your income. Your bills on top of the housing or separate from the housing, shouldn't be more than 10%. That includes your car. So people are going to say, but my car is 15% of my income. Then either you have the wrong car or you can't afford a car. People don't want to tell you that you cannot afford something. Let me briefly say this. Before credit cards came into existence they were only offered to rich people rich people people who creditors knew had the money they were offered credit as a convenience to not having cash on them because a lot of rich people don't walk around with cash their money's tied up in something else so when they got home they would write a check and pay off the bill that's how credit actually worked. Then they figured out they could fleece the entire population by offering credit to poor people. And then they figured out that poor people would not only take the credit, but they would pay a premium, pay the minimum every month, and then to boot, when it came time to write off the credit, they had already paid off 10 times what they had actually purchased. I'm here to tell you, if your car is 15% of your income, you cannot afford the car. If your car, plus your light bill, plus your water bill, plus your trash, plus your cable, plus your cell phone bill, is reaching up 30, 40, 50, 60%, you can't afford it. Stop it. You don't need it. You do not need it. If you're trying to buy a house, if you're trying to rent a house or rent an apartment and you have bill collectors and the only thing you do pay is your rent note or your, or your mortgage, you can't afford it. Listen to me. You need to go back home. Everybody's doing it. White people are doing it. White people are moving their entire family to mom's to mom and dads. They're living in the basement. They're living in their childhood bedroom. Times are tough. But some of them have figured out that, hey, I can't afford this. This, this, is, this is beyond me. Keep that as a rule. Write it down. Mortgage, 30%. Rent, 30%. Car note, power bill, all of that stuff, 10%. Cell phone, car note power bill all together 10 percent and if you cannot afford that you can't afford it stop being poor all your life because you have to have the new kicks stop being poor all your life because you want to go party you want to go party with the girls you want to go hang with the fellas what did the comedian say that he is going to stop hanging out with the sports play, the sports guys, the basketball players, the football players, because their money is in the hundred millions and he only makes one million. He goes out and hangs with them. They get bottle service. He gets bottle service. They get one bottle. He gets one bottle. They get three bottles. He gets three bottles. He's broke by the end of the night. They call him up the next night to go out again. And he said, you see, the way my money works is, well, he shouldn't have done that in the first place. 
a dinner and a movie and uh, see you fellas. You all go out, have a good time. And you need to have the balls, fellas, women. You need to have the balls to say, I- I'm done. That's over my budget. I can't do it. And call them the next day and uh, let them brag about how much fun they had. And you just sit there and listen. And that'll be your entertainment. You can live through other people. It's okay. Don't be jealous of them. Be happy that you're spending time talking to them. If you can't afford it, you can't afford it. It's a reality. Don't be going broke to keep up with the Joneses. Tell me what you think about that. And are you doing that? Thank you for watching the Chicago Live Show. 